Did you know that the difference between ordinary and extraordinary success often comes down to two things, consistency and the courage to take risks? It's easy to believe that success is about making big, bold moves or waiting for that one life-changing opportunity. But the reality is far different. To truly rise above the rest, you need to commit to the small, everyday actions that compound over time. And you need to step out of your comfort zone, embracing risks that can propel you toward greatness. If you want to achieve extraordinary success, you need to do this, build the discipline of consistency and master the art of risk-taking. It's not about waiting for the perfect moment or hoping for the stars to align. It's about showing up every day, doing the work, and being willing to face the unknown with courage. In this video, we're going to explore how these two elements, consistency and risk, serve as the backbone of true achievement. And I'll show you why avoiding this mistake is crucial, thinking that success happens overnight. It doesn't. But with consistent effort and the willingness to take bold risks, you'll unlock doors to opportunities you never thought possible. Stay tuned. This journey is about to change your perspective on what it really takes to succeed. Number one, the power of decisive action, moving beyond endless planning. Have you ever found yourself caught in the cycle of endless planning? It feels good, doesn't it? Mapping out your goals, drawing up a perfect strategy, imagining how everything will fall into place. For a moment, you feel in control. It's satisfying to know you have a plan, that you're preparing for every possible outcome, ensuring nothing goes wrong. But if we're being honest, how often does that perfect plan stay exactly as you envisioned it? How many times have you found yourself stuck in the loop of just one more tweak or I'll start when everything is perfect? Here's the truth. While planning is important, it's action that truly moves the needle forward. In today's world where everything is moving faster than ever, the weight of constantly fine-tuning and planning can become a trap. It's easy to convince yourself that you're doing the right thing by getting everything just right. But this perfectionist approach can often lead to inaction or, at best, endless preparation without results. Think about the last time you spent hours, maybe even days, perfecting a plan, but still didn't make any tangible progress. Now, imagine how different your path could have been if you'd just taken action instead. Reflecting on past experiences, I'm sure we can all recall times when we hesitated, thinking that waiting for the perfect moment was the best decision. Maybe it was a job opportunity, a business venture, or even a personal relationship. The one thing we all have in common is that we've all waited for that ideal moment. But when that moment passes and the opportunity slips away, we're left with a sense of regret and an overwhelming realization. The time to act was now, not later. Number two, visualization, shaping reality through mental rehearsal. Visualization is a powerful tool that many successful individuals swear by, but it's one of those things that sounds too good to be true at first, doesn't it? The idea that simply imagining something can actually make it more likely to happen seems like a stretch. But when you dig deeper into how the mind works, it starts to make sense. It's not just wishful thinking, it's training your brain to recognize opportunities and react in ways that align with your goals. Think back to a time when you were really excited about something. Maybe it was a big presentation at work, an athletic competition, or even something personal, like a relationship you were nurturing. Before it even happened, didn't you already have a mental picture of how it would play out? Maybe you imagined delivering that perfect pitch or winning that race, that mental rehearsal. That was your brain priming itself for success. In moments of high pressure, athletes and professionals use visualization as a way to overcome nerves, doubts and fear. It's the mental equivalent of practicing before a performance. 
It's the way top athletes mentally rehearse a perfect play, a flawless presentation, or a successful outcome. By mentally rehearsing the ideal scenario, you create a mental roadmap, guiding your actions when the moment arrives. It's no different from muscle memory. The more you envision success, the more likely you are to execute it when the time comes. But here's the catch. Visualization isn't just about seeing a desired outcome. It's about mentally living it. It's about focusing on the feelings, the sensory details, the emotions tied to that success. When you can vividly imagine success, it activates the same neural pathways as if you're actually experiencing it. Over time, this strengthens your resolve, boosts your confidence, and prepares your mind and body to act with precision. The key is to be specific. When you visualize, don't just think about being successful. See the steps, the actions, the small victories along the way. Picture yourself walking through the process and feeling every emotion tied to it. It's amazing how much power your mind holds in shaping your reality. You can condition your thoughts, your attitudes, and even your body to align with the success you visualize. This technique isn't just for athletes or business moguls. It's for anyone looking to manifest change in their life, whether it's achieving career goals, building relationships, or even overcoming obstacles. Mental rehearsal prepares you to face challenges head on. And when you do, it's like you've already succeeded in your mind. Number three, the importance of consistency. Turning small actions into big results. Let's talk about consistency for a second. It's one of those things that sounds so simple, yet so many people struggle with it. The truth is, we all want fast results, and in today's world, where instant gratification is at our fingertips, it's easy to become frustrated when things don't happen overnight. Whether it's losing weight, building a career, or mastering a new skill, we often expect dramatic changes after a few weeks of effort. And when those results don't appear as quickly as we hope, it's tempting to give up or think that we're doing something wrong. But this is where consistency comes in. Consistency is the secret source that turns small, seemingly insignificant actions into massive achievements. It's about doing the work every day, even when you don't feel like it, even when the results seem far off. It's about creating habits that move you closer to your goals, even if they don't seem to make a huge difference in the moment. It's easy to dismiss a single action, but it's those small, seemingly insignificant actions that build up over time, like the accumulation of tiny drops of water that eventually form a river. Consistent effort compounds into success. Think about your own life for a moment. Can you recall a time when you stuck with something even when the results weren't immediate. Maybe it was a fitness goal, a project at work, or learning a new hobby. At first, progress felt slow, and there were times when you wondered if it was worth it. But then, after a few months, you looked back and realized how far you'd come. Those small actions, those consistent daily efforts, had added up to something big. That's the power of consistency. Now, imagine applying this same principle to every area of your life. Whether it's building relationships, advancing your career, or becoming the best version of yourself, consistency is the key. The big breakthroughs don't happen in a day or a week, they happen over months, even years, of steady, deliberate effort. It's the willingness to show up, day in and day out, that truly sets successful people apart from the rest. It's not about doing everything perfectly, it's about showing up consistently, even when the going gets tough. The challenge lies in staying committed, even when the results aren't obvious right away. But the beauty of consistency is that over time, it creates a momentum that's unstoppable. Those small actions start to compound, and before you know it, you've achieved things you once thought were impossible. This is the power of consistent action. The ability to transform ordinary efforts 
into extraordinary results. And once you experience the magic of consistency, you'll never look at success the same way again. Number four, journaling for clarity, organizing thoughts amidst chaos. You know that feeling when life feels like it's spinning out of control, the constant pressure, the swirling thoughts, the never-ending to-do list that only seems to grow longer. It's overwhelming. In these moments, we can easily become paralyzed by the chaos around us. We feel stuck, unsure of where to start, and often, even what to prioritize. If you've ever felt like your thoughts are scattered across a thousand different places, struggling to focus on what truly matters, you're not alone. But what if there was a simple, yet incredibly powerful way to regain control? Imagine for a moment, sitting down with a pen and paper, letting your thoughts flow out without restriction. No judgment, no filters, just raw, unorganized thoughts on paper. This practice is journaling, and it's one of the most effective tools for gaining clarity when everything seems overwhelming. The act of journaling goes far beyond just writing. It's a way to untangle the mental knots that form when we try to hold too much inside. By externalizing your thoughts, you create space in your mind, allowing you to see things more clearly. This process of organizing your mind onto paper allows you to prioritize, reflect, and make decisions with confidence. You start to connect the dots between what truly matters and what can be set aside. You get a clearer sense of purpose and direction. It's almost like having a conversation with yourself, but in a way that makes sense. The chaos starts to become more manageable and the fog lifts. I remember a time in my own life when I felt completely overwhelmed. I was juggling multiple projects, relationships and responsibilities, and no matter how hard I tried, it felt like my mind was constantly racing. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't focus. I felt trapped in my own head. One day, a close friend recommended journaling. At first, I was skeptical. How could writing things down change anything? But when I took that first step, something miraculous happened. The simple act of writing down what I was feeling, what I was thinking, and what I wanted to achieve, suddenly gave me a sense of control. It was as though the act of putting my thoughts on paper allowed me to see them from a new perspective, to categorize and organize them in a way that made sense. I could finally breathe. The chaos wasn't gone, but it was now manageable, and that made all the difference. In these moments, journaling becomes more than just a way to process emotions. It becomes a tool for problem solving. You begin to see patterns emerge. What once seemed like a pile of scattered thoughts begins to take form. You can identify where you're stuck, where you're moving forward, and where you need to refocus your energy. Journaling allows you to become the architect of your own thoughts constructing a mental map that helps guide you through the noise and clutter. Number five, discovering and pursuing your purpose, the key to sustained motivation. There's a certain energy that comes with purpose. It's almost tangible, like an invisible force that pulls you forward, even when times get tough. Have you ever had one of those days where everything just feels aligned? You wake up energized, motivated, and ready to take on the world. You know exactly what you need to do, and each step feels meaningful. That's what happens when you're in touch with your purpose. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Finding my purpose sounds great, but it's not always so easy, right? And you're absolutely right. For many of us, discovering our true purpose isn't something that happens overnight. It's a journey one that requires deep introspection, patience, and a willingness to embrace both the highs and lows of life. But when you find your purpose, when you tap into that driving force, it becomes your anchor. It's what keeps you moving forward when things get difficult. It's what makes every setback worth it, because you know it's all part of the bigger picture. 
I'll never forget the first time I realized what my purpose was. I'd been drifting for a while, unsure of what I was meant to do, unsure of what truly mattered to me. It wasn't until I took a step back, slowed down, and really started listening to my heart that I understood where I was meant to go. My purpose wasn't something that someone else could define for me. It wasn't something that came from external validation or societal expectations. It was something that had always been there, quietly waiting for me to listen. For some, discovering their purpose might involve diving into a passion they've always wanted to pursue. For others, it might mean reshaping their career, relationships, or even their entire lifestyle. But regardless of how it manifests, once you find it, you know, you feel it in your bones. Your purpose gives you a reason to get out of bed in the morning, and it pushes you to keep going, even when the road is tough. But here's the thing about purpose. It's not just about motivation in the short term. A true sense of purpose provides long-term fulfillment. It sustains you through the challenges, the failures, and the inevitable struggles you will face along the way. When you're connected to something greater than yourself, every sacrifice feels worthwhile. Every obstacle becomes a learning experience. And most importantly, you never feel like you're wandering aimlessly. You have a direction, you have a goal, and you have the fire within you to pursue it relentlessly. Now, I won't sugarcoat it. Finding your purpose can be challenging. It requires self-reflection, asking the tough questions, and sometimes even stepping into the unknown. But it's one of the most rewarding journeys you can take. When you discover your purpose, everything changes. You stop living reactively and start living intentionally. And that shift, it's what leads to sustained motivation. Purpose becomes the engine that drives you, even on the toughest days. Number six, persistence through failure, turning setbacks into stepping stones, failure. It's a word that we all fear, isn't it? The idea of falling short, of not measuring up, of facing rejection or defeat. It's one of the most universal human experiences. But what if I told you that failure, in its truest form, isn't something to fear at all? What if I told you that failure is actually one of the most powerful tools for growth? Think back to a time when you failed. Maybe it was a project that didn't go as planned, or a personal goal you couldn't quite reach. I know it stings. It feels like a punch to the gut, a moment of self-doubt that can linger long after the event is over. But here's where the magic happens. It's not the failure that defines you, it's how you respond to it. When you choose to persist, when you decide that failure won't be the end of your story, that's when you truly begin to grow. Persistence through failure is about viewing setbacks as stepping stones, not roadblocks. Every time you fall, you have a choice. You can stay down or you can rise again, stronger and more determined than before. You see, failure is a teacher. It's a lesson in resilience, perseverance and grit. It shows you where you went wrong, but it also teaches you what needs to change. And with each lesson, you get closer to your ultimate goal. Every failure is an opportunity to refine your approach, to grow stronger, and to try again with greater wisdom. When I reflect on my own failures, I realize that the moments I thought were setbacks were actually the defining moments that shaped my success. Without those failures, I wouldn't have learned the lessons I needed to learn. Without those failures, I wouldn't have developed the resilience required to keep moving forward. Persistence is the key, the willingness to keep going, to stay committed and to keep taking steps, no matter how small, because over time, those small steps add up and eventually you'll reach the place where your failures turn into the triumphs you once thought were impossible. Number seven, daily exercise, strengthening body and mind. We all know that feeling when we've spent a day slumped over a desk or lounging on the couch, the stiffness in our joints, 
the heaviness in our body and the fog in our mind. It's like we're disconnected from our own potential, both physically and mentally. But what if I told you that there's a simple way to reverse that feeling, to bring your mind and body back into harmony? That secret is daily exercise. Exercise, as simple as it sounds, is one of the most powerful tools for enhancing both our physical and mental well-being. Imagine waking up in the morning, feeling the rush of endorphins coursing through your body after a workout. Your muscles are alive, your energy levels are boosted, and your mind feels sharper. The weight of the world doesn't seem so heavy anymore. That's the magic of regular exercise. It strengthens not only your body, but also your mind. I remember when I first started incorporating exercise into my daily routine. At first, it felt like a chore. The idea of getting up early to hit the gym or go for a run seemed exhausting. But over time, as I stuck with it, something incredible happened. My energy levels soared, my mind became more focused, and I felt more in control of my life. Exercise became a cornerstone of my day, a non-negotiable habit that set the tone for everything else I did. You see, exercise isn't just about looking good on the outside. Sure, physical health is important, but it's the mental and emotional benefits that make it truly transformative. When you push your body to its limits, you also push your mind. You develop resilience, perseverance, and the ability to overcome challenges. That feeling of accomplishment after finishing a tough workout. Number eight, taking bold risks, embracing the unknown for greater rewards. Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, looking down at the vast unknown. The wind is in your hair, your heart is racing, and your instincts are screaming for you to retreat. But then, in that moment of fear, something shifts. You take a deep breath, gather your courage, and take the leap. The rush of adrenaline, the thrill of the unknown, the feeling of freedom, it's exhilarating. And in that moment, you realize that it was worth it. The rewards of taking a bold risk far outweigh the comfort of staying safe on the edge. Taking risks is one of the most powerful ways to unlock new opportunities, break through personal barriers, and achieve the extraordinary. Too often, we stay stuck in our comfort zones, afraid of failure, rejection, or the unknown. But the truth is, nothing great has ever been achieved without taking risks. Whether it's launching a new business, pursuing a new career path, or making a life-changing decision, it's the bold risks that lead to the greatest rewards. I've been there. I've hesitated, second-guessed myself, and feared the potential consequences of taking a leap. But each time I chose to take a bold step into the unknown, I learned, I grew, and I discovered new facets of myself that I never knew existed. The fear of failure is natural, but it's also a sign that you're on the edge of something new. It's a signal that you're about to push past your limitations and achieve something extraordinary. The beauty of taking bold risks is that they often lead to unexpected rewards. You might not know exactly how things will turn out, but that's part of the thrill. Every risk opens up a new world of possibilities, and sometimes the outcomes can be far greater than you ever imagined. It's about embracing the unknown with courage, and trusting that the journey will be worth it, even if the path is uncertain. Taking risks doesn't mean throwing caution to the wind or acting recklessly. It's about calculated risk-taking, stepping outside your comfort zone while keeping a clear vision of your goals. It's about recognizing the opportunities that lie just beyond the horizon and having the courage to pursue them, even when the path isn't clear. It's about moving forward with faith in yourself, knowing that you have the strength and resilience to handle whatever challenges come your way. Number nine, the compound effect of quick action. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like everything was moving in slow motion, like you were stuck in neutral while the world around you was accelerating? We've all been there, 
The moments where procrastination, indecision or fear hold us back from taking action. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the magnitude of a task, to put things off until the perfect time arrives. But here's the truth, the perfect time rarely comes, and waiting for it can cost you more than you realize. Quick action, even in small doses, can have a profound effect on your success. The compound effect of consistent, timely action is one of the most powerful forces in achieving your goals. It's the idea that small, seemingly insignificant actions taken consistently over time can lead to massive results. Just think about it. Every little step you take, every decision you make, adds up. The actions you take today will compound tomorrow. And the more quickly you take those actions, the faster you begin to build momentum toward your goal. I remember a time in my life when I struggled with procrastination. I would spend days, sometimes weeks, planning and overthinking every detail of a project, all while avoiding actually starting. I thought that by waiting for the perfect plan, I'd be setting myself up for success. But what I didn't realize was that waiting was the real obstacle. It wasn't until I shifted my focus to taking quick, decisive action that things started to move forward. I stopped waiting for the perfect moment and began acting immediately, even if it wasn't perfect. And in doing so, I began to see progress. The compound effect works because small actions snowball. You make one decision to take action today, and then another tomorrow, and soon you're building momentum. Each action you take builds on the previous one, creating a sense of forward motion. And before you know it, you've crossed the threshold of success. Not because you waited for everything to align perfectly, but because you kept moving step by step. The key is to stop waiting for the perfect moment and to start acting now. Even if you don't have everything figured out, taking that first step creates momentum. Once you start moving, the rest follows. The compound effect will take care of the rest. Number 10. The neuroscience behind visualization and performance. Visualization is often talked about in the realm of athletes, high performers and even CEOs. But you may have wondered, does it really work? Can imagining your success lead to actual results? The answer is yes. The power of visualization is rooted in the science of the brain. When you visualize a task or goal, your brain doesn't differentiate between reality and imagination. In other words, when you vividly imagine yourself succeeding, your brain starts to form neural pathways as if you're actually living that experience. This means that every time you visualize success, you're training your brain for success. The concept is simple. Our brains are wired to create new neural connections through repetition. When you visualize a goal, such as winning a race, giving a successful presentation, or achieving a milestone, your brain activates the same areas that would be activated during the actual experience. In a way, you're mentally rehearsing success, and through this mental rehearsal, you strengthen the neural pathways that make success more achievable. I've seen firsthand how powerful visualization can be. When I started applying it to my own goals, I was amazed at how it shifted my mindset. By spending a few minutes each day visualizing the successful completion of a task, I noticed a dramatic improvement in my performance, whether it was a big presentation, a difficult conversation or a personal achievement, visualization helped me feel more prepared and confident. What's even more fascinating is that research shows that visualization can have a real impact on actual performance. Studies have found that athletes who visualize their performance improve significantly compared to those who don't. In one study, basketball players who visualized making free throws actually improved their shooting accuracy, even though they weren't physically practicing. This effect can apply to almost any field, whether it's sports, business or personal growth. Number 11. The role of consistency in achieving extraordinary success. Consistency is one of those concepts that sounds simple, 
almost too simple to be the key to extraordinary success. And yet, it is perhaps the most powerful force that drives lasting transformation in our lives. It's easy to imagine success as something that comes in bursts, an incredible breakthrough or a dramatic moment of recognition. But the reality is that extraordinary success is built on the steady, unyielding actions we take every day. It's not the grand gestures, but the small, consistent steps that add up to monumental results. Imagine for a moment you are building a skyscraper. The foundation of that structure is not laid in a single day, nor is it completed in a week or a month. It takes years, brick by brick, layer upon layer, until the tower rises into the sky. Success, just like that skyscraper, is constructed one consistent action at a time. It doesn't happen overnight, and it certainly doesn't happen through bursts of sporadic effort. I often think about how so many people quit too soon. They start a new diet, a workout routine, or a business venture, and they expect to see massive results right away. When those results don't come fast enough, frustration sets in, and they give up, thinking it's not meant to be. But consistency doesn't work that way. It's a slow and steady accumulation of effort that leads to eventual greatness. Consistency is powerful because it compounds. Every action, no matter how small, adds to the bigger picture. When you show up every day, whether you feel like it or not, you are slowly but surely building a foundation for success. It is those daily habits, no matter how simple they seem, that will create the momentum needed for extraordinary outcomes. This principle is true in every area of life. Think about successful athletes, entrepreneurs or leaders. What sets them apart is their unwavering commitment to the process, day in and day out. They don't just show up when they're inspired, they show up when they're tired, when they're doubting themselves, when they'd rather be doing anything else. This consistency, this refusal to give up in the face of challenges, is what differentiates high achievers from the rest. For example, consider the journey of someone like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, whose rise to fame was not just a result of his charisma, but his dedication. He was known for his discipline, waking up at 4 a.m. every morning to train, even when the day before had been exhausting. His consistency in the gym, his consistency in improving his craft, and his consistency in showing up for his fans are what have made him one of the most successful and influential people in the world today. Consistency is also about building habits that support your goals. It's the little things you do each day, such as reading a chapter of a book, writing in your journal, or setting aside time for personal growth that will gradually move you closer to where you want to be. These small actions might seem insignificant in isolation, but over time, they form a powerful momentum that propels you forward. Number 12. The Art of Risk-Taking – Moving from Comfort to Courage Risk-taking is one of the most powerful catalysts for growth, yet, for many of us, it feels terrifying. The comfort zone is a place of safety and security, a bubble in which we feel protected from failure and pain. But as we all know, growth never happens in the comfort zone. If you want to achieve something extraordinary, you have to be willing to step out of that zone and embrace the discomfort of risk. Risk-taking is an art, a delicate balance between courage and wisdom. On the one hand, you need the courage to step into the unknown, to take a leap of faith when the path ahead is unclear. On the other hand, you need the wisdom to evaluate risks carefully, to make sure that the potential rewards outweigh the potential downsides. The best risk-takers understand this balance and navigate it with both fear and excitement, knowing that the rewards of bold action far outweigh the comfort of staying in familiar territory. The process of taking a risk often begins with a moment of fear, it's natural to feel afraid when faced with a decision that could change the trajectory of your life. Fear is a survival mechanism. It's there to protect you. But the key is not to let fear control you. 
Instead, let it fuel you. When you feel that fear, recognize it for what it is an indication that you're on the verge of something big, something life-changing. It's a sign that you're stepping outside your comfort zone and into a space where real growth can happen. I've taken risks in my own life that terrified me. I remember launching my first business. It was a huge leap of faith. I didn't have all the answers. I didn't know whether it would succeed. But I did know that if I stayed in my comfortable, predictable job, I would always wonder what could have been. So, I took the risk. And while it was challenging, it was also one of the best decisions I ever made. The lessons I learned from that experience, the resilience I built, and the growth I experienced are all things I would not have gained if I hadn't taken the leap. Risk-taking is often misunderstood. People often think of it as reckless, as a kind of blind leap with no regard for consequences. But true risk-taking is not about recklessness. It's about strategic courage. It's about assessing the potential risks, weighing the possible outcomes, and making a decision to act despite the uncertainty. Successful risk-takers don't dive in without thinking. They embrace the unknown with a clear sense of purpose and a plan for how to manage the challenges that might arise. Consider the risk-taking journey of someone like Elon Musk. When he founded SpaceX, he was risking not just his wealth, but also his reputation. The idea of privatizing space travel seemed ludicrous to many, and the early years were filled with failures and setbacks. But Musk took calculated risks, betting on his vision and his belief in the potential rewards. Today, SpaceX is a leader in the aerospace industry, and Musk's bold risk has paid off in ways few could have predicted. The benefits of taking bold risks go far beyond just the financial rewards or the external successes. Risk-taking teaches you how to handle uncertainty, how to adapt to challenges, and how to bounce back from failure. It builds resilience, resourcefulness, and creativity. When you take a risk, you're forced to think on your feet, make decisions quickly, and find innovative solutions to problems that arise. These experiences shape you into someone who is capable of navigating the unpredictable nature of life with confidence. But how do you take that first step? How do you move from comfort to courage? It starts with shifting your mindset. Instead of viewing risks as potential threats, begin to see them as opportunities for growth. Understand that failure is not the end. It's simply part of the journey. Every failure teaches you something valuable and brings you one step closer to success. And remember, no risk is truly wasted if you learn from it. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows that you're part of the 0.01% who actually follow through and finish what they start. That's the mindset of a true achiever. Remember, success is built on consistent action and the courage to embrace risk. You've just taken the first step in understanding how these two forces shape your path to greatness. Now it's time to put them into practice. If you're serious about transforming your life and achieving extraordinary success, make sure to join our community by hitting that subscribe button. You don't want to miss the next step in your journey. Together, let's continue building the habits that will lead you to success. One decision, one action at a time.